Hello and welcome to a game that's just been released. This is Raven's Cry, and uh, this is a game that had a bit of a Rocky Balboa start. Uh, it was delayed from last year, no, it was delayed from 2013 to 2014 to 2015. It's been a fucking roller coaster of a ride, grum grum, but we're here. It's a pirate game with choice and consequence, sort of similar to other RPGs in which your kind of choices matter. Um, so like Oblivion, Fallout, all those kind of things. It seems really cool, but it has the pirate focus, uh, similar to Assassin's Creed or Sid Meier's Pirate. Close that fucking thing. Um, so yeah, it should be a good kind of adventure for us to go on. So we're going to start a new game. Put it on normal. I have a funny feeling it's going to be shit. For the simple reason that it's been delayed so many times. Um, but we'll see. I'll be quiet for the cutscene. Prepare for the voice acting. Captain. Chris. We got him. Get me to your post. Aye, aye, Captain. The voice acting has changed from the first trailer. Maybe this is going to be great. Maybe this is going to be good. Oh, uh, here we are, son. So I think we start off as the captain. There's no kind of a building your way up through the ranks. We kind of start at the top dog. Some nice graphics, though. Nice graphics. The trailers, the trailers, and uh, the cutscenes could use some work, uh, but it's okay. I recently started watching a show called Black Sails, which is about pirates. So I'm really hyped for this. I'm in the mindset for this. It should be a really fun. Let's play. I plan on playing it to completion, unless it's shit. Unless it's completely shit. The way I see it is, if it's good. Great purchase if it's bad. <laughs> Let's laugh. You know what I mean? It was 30 quid though. 30 fucking quid. I haven't played 30 quid for a game for ages. I normally get it on G2A. Not sponsored by them. I'm just saying it's cheaper on G2A. That's all. You can go on land, as I, um, well, I've been told you can go on land, uh, but you can also go on the ship. So here's our character. In all of his fucking glory hole. Oh, there's a rival ship. You put the sails down. Oh, look at this ship. We need to go faster, Chris. Let's feel the sails. How do I zoom out? This is not a very good way of seeing where we're going. I need to move like the camera. Take it to Larboard, Chris. If we go past the rats, we may well cut them off. That's what I'm trying to do. Hard a large board, men. Galliant, it's over there. So if we look at the mini map, it should help us because looking on the actual kind of person kind of screen doesn't really give us any help because I can't see what the fuck's happening. There's a big fuck off plank in the way. Oh, there, that'll help. So you can do X, you can do Z, you can do E. I think this is the best camera for now. Yeah, because this this way we can see the danger, you know? It's not very immersive, but I don't give a fuck. I mean, we can change it periodically. It's no, like, we're not stuck in this kind of camera thing. I don't know why. I'm making a big deal out of it. The galleon's over there, so we can cut them off. So this is our first taste of combat. I imagine it's going to be similar to uh, Assassin's Creed 4's combat kind of situation in which you use the ship, but uh, it's anyone's guess. It could be more difficult. It could be harder. Oh, fuck. Over there, Chris. Time to hit them broadside. Oh, shit, but their broadside's facing us so they can shoot. Shit, man. Alright, so we need to wait for it to reload. So we need to kind of aim the side bit. Yeah, it shoots out the side, as I thought. Ah, shit. We're 
we can bash into him, I think. Nice. So we're in front of them. We did cause some damage, some fire damage. How do we change our weapon type? I can't remember what it said. I thought it said scroll, didn't it? Was it one, two? Oh yeah, it's two. So we'll do we'll do some of these. We'll try and hit the back of him. Because if his side faces us, then he can shoot us. Like so. Fuck. Need to hurry up. It's very slow and methodical. Christ. We're in a bad spot. Two, yeah, it still has to reload. I thought if we changed the weapon types, it wouldn't have to reload. Fit the sails, so that should slow him down in theory. I don't know if it kind of is as realistic as that. Like the sails not being there causes some kind of slowdown effect. But we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I think, uh, I think the kind of the more the merrier in terms of weapons. I don't know what these kids are saying. I'll have to turn on subtitles. Does it even reach? Come on. Fuck. If we could turn around, I'd turn around and shoot the bastard, but we can't turn around. Like, it'll take too much time, and you'll get away by then. We'll try and shoot him like this. Come on. Down here. Down here. It would be cool if I had some kind of character creation thing. I don't know, I don't like having like the character made for us. Especially on an RPG game, like it's a bit it's a bit naff. But I mean I get like it might have been that way because they have like a story about the guy, but they could change the appearance quite easily. Stop, we can kind of hit them like this. We'll try and bash into him, but he might hit us with the cannons. Alright, so. It seems we have a, re a reputation kind of system. So we've lost reputation to Spain because we killed one of their ships, but we did gain experience. So like Spain will hate us a little bit more. I'm not sure if we can have a good relationship with Spain or not. I think the main kind of enemies against pirates were uh, England and Spain. They were England and Spain were at war, and the pirates were in the middle. So like the pirates had both people attacking them. So we need to go to Saint Juan. And we can fast travel quite easily. Which is always good. I probably won't fast travel that much, but I think we had to do it for that specific quest. Enemies too strong? It might be time to buy a new ship. Better weapon or increase your something something. Don't like this, Chris. This Toronto asshole isn't going to play us straight. I'm telling you, something's off about this whole deal. Why are you killing one of his own people? It doesn't make sense. We can't trust him. Calm down, Marcus. You know I don't trust anyone. But there's no way I'm going to let this slime bag slip away without paying me. So lead the way. Yeah, I know. But this is bad business. A man willing to kill his own people for personal gain is no kind of man at all. Let's get what we're owed, and then call it right. quits with him. 
so we'll do. Just wait a minute. Uh, and a bonus code. Settings. Why can't I go on settings? Why is settings not a viable option? I don't fucking know. For this kind of bullshit. Maybe I need a break. Back in St. Lucia, it's just me and my distillery. <laughs> Same routine, day in and you know. It's been a long time since you visited home, Chris. <laughs> and what would I do there? Keep you company while you watch the barrels mature? You like St. Lucia well enough when you are a boy. Speaking of rum, you remember Captain Franz Peterson? He came by recently for his uh, supplies. He's been asking for you. Says he has a problem we could use your uh, help with. Dutchmen drink like fools, but Franz is a well, reliable man. Not like that Duh. Spanish Fuck. dog, Torado. Hopefully we can go to Nassau. Nassau is probably close. a good place for practice. Keep your blade ready. To run, hold, left, shift. I want to do... It's there, now we can do it. So what I wanted to do was... um. Turn on subtitles. Either lets us. Slow dial. That might be subtitles. Accept. Uh, sound. Uh, keyboard graphics. I've already done that. Difficulty level. So this must be it. Oh yeah, that's it. That's it. Here we are. Let's see if these bastards already. So I imagine something we do in here will have an effect on uh, other events because there is like choice and consequence. Um, I'm not sure how important it is. A lot of games I've been playing lately have that. It's quite good. Oh fuck! I'll save you. Fuck! Fuck you! No. Oh, on guard. I'm gonna get killed. There's more of them coming. Hold the door. I'll take care of them. That yeah, voice acting though. Oh shit. Uh. Fuck. What's that third dude doing? Whoa. Oh, oh! Fuck me. Come on. Alright, so we can block. Ah, oh, fuck. I'll have to just jump back each time. Oh, shit. So we couldn't do that anymore. Our health's pretty low. There. Marcus. Is this Marcus? You're behind the door, Chris. We're going to have to split up and meet at the harbor. Go upstairs and try to find a way out. I think I saw a balcony up there. And what about you? Don't worry. I'll figure something out. Besides, they're not after me. Aren't you lucky? See you on the other side. Fuck. Alright, so we've got experience. But we didn't lose any kind of renown with Spain. So I'm not too sure what's going on there. Oh, here. Nice. The game's definitely not AAA, but it's still good. I like it so far. What the fuck? Is that our ship? Yeah. We need to upgrade our ability. We'll have to do it later. Cannon damage? No, we can't do it right now. I'm sure our ship just got blown up. Christ. So we need to stealth it. Easily done. I mean, we can kill this guy when he's not looking, I imagine. That should be fun. Oh, 
fuck the whole bloody Spain's after us. Or are these guys English? I think Spaniard. I don't know. I think English are red. And the Sp uh, Spaniards are blue. I'll have to double check though. I'm pretty sure they're red. The red cuts. Reloading pistol. Okay. Shit. So why do we need to go? Is it just a case of escaping? Oh, over there. Over here. Come on, scurvy dog. Up here. I'm surprised they can do stuff with this fucking claw hand. Must not be good when you get on the toilet. Oh shit. Do him and shoot. No flint lock. Right. I don't want to do that though, I want to stealth it. Don't turn around. I'm just gonna hook and kill every fucker here. <laughs> just everybody who's bloody Spanish is just dead. Oh, we forgot to loot them, didn't we? Christ. Alright, I'll start looting them now. I forgot that was an option. Oh shit. Is there any way to stealth this, do you think? I haven't got a flint lock. I don't think we can stealth it all the way. Maybe we can, maybe we can. Let's see what we can do here. Oh. Have to run for your life. Fuck. Shit. I knew it would be spotted. Oh, fuck. Christ. Spanish are coming. Oh fuck. Bloody hell. Fucking loads of them. There's a small ship over here. Oh, it's leaving. It's leaving dock. Oh fuck. What do we do? Oh, thank god. We didn't even get on the ship, I don't know why he's doing that little animation. We're too late, died. We fucking died. Oh, this is our ship. What was the other ship then? Well, that went well. I guess we should avoid San Juan for a while. Agreed. Might be a good time to visit home after all, eh? At least until you decide to murder another officer of the Navy. Hey, what, what's going on, eh? You sent a bitch trying to steal my ship, eh? That's what's going on. <laughs> nope. You're... you're not? No, everything's good here. Lay back down and get some sleep. Oh. Thanks. Mm. Marcus. Set sail for St. Lucia. Okay, I don't know if we could have stealthed that. And we fucked up. I don't know what we're supposed to fuck up. It's anybody's guess. Found something interesting during the fight. Hmm. Found something? And here I thought we were fighting for our lives. It looked to me like you were trying to save your own neck. My neck? Seem to remember saving yours a few times back there. <laughs> when I was wrestling with one of those bastards, this coat ripped loose. It's a note. It says they're looking for a man named Lancaster. Lancaster? The weapons dealer? I don't know another one. Hmm. 
Man's got his fingers in every pie in the Caribbean. But if this is true, he's staying in Bridgetown now. Seems that's where Fin Torado is going to be looking for him. Bridgetown, eh? Yeah. If you're looking to get even, confront him there. Oh, so what's by there? The Spaniards in the backyard. It's messy that way. I got business in Barbados. A large group of my people are gathering soon, and I should be there. A gathering? I thought you were talking about taking some time off. Guess my bears will have to take care of themselves for a while longer. But you're right. We've been on the run for so long. I've almost forgotten what normal life in line looks like. No offense to you, of course, Christopher. You're a grown man. You can make your own decisions. That's nice of you to notice. So what will you do? Mm. Are you heading to Bridgetown? Mm. The Port Royal whores give you the burning drip. <laughs> this Dorado, I won't let him off my hook. But I'll give you a ride to Barbados. The least I could do for you saving my neck. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm parched. Tavern? First sensible thing you've said all day. Lead on. And we'll end the episode here. The game looks pretty fucking cool, to be honest. It, looks, it has promise, it has promise. I've been Sipio. This has been Raven's Cry. See you next time.